There is no timeline or book written on how to heal after a mass shooting. For months, students at Freeman High School remain quiet as they try to return to normal after that unthinkable tragedy. But with shooting after shooting at schools around the country, they felt the need to speak out. So last month, some students spoke exclusively with our Caroline Flynn about how they're coping and the message they want to deliver to the community. Caroline. Yeah, so when I spoke with those students and their principal, one thing that they really wanted to stress was that this was a different experience for every single person that was involved. And it's been a real challenge because of that and with the different places that every person is in right now in the healing process. No one would blame a student if they wanted to remain quiet in the days, weeks, months, or even years following a tragic school shooting. At Freeman High School, it's been a balance. Act. Nobody knows where everyone's at, so it's really hard to gauge where, um, you know, where we are and the coping that everybody's gone through. Students chose silence. We've overcome so much this year. And the Parkland High School shooting put gun violence at center stage. And we are aware that our special experience makes us, you know, really big in the center of all of this. In March, a small group participated in the National Student Walkout. Behind the scenes, though, they were planning something bigger to mark another walkout happening on the 19th anniversary of Columbine. We, we have a very unique perspective coming from the school that has gone through something that so many other schools are fearing right now. They wanted to speak out, come up with a message, but unlike other schools around the nation, not be politically motivated. The last thing we want to do this late in the year is divide our school, and as leaders in our school, we don't want to cause any, uh, any disruption and feel like and make people feel like their voices are being heard. From that, a message of solidarity was formed. Just a message of healing and a message of hope that um, that we can continue to just um, get through this and that um, we're not going to stop. We're going to um, continue being Freeman strong. And spending some time with those students, it is incredible to see how much just those two words have meant to them and the healing process. I'm so excited to see how Mark incorporates that in the big extreme team reveal happening Thursday. Coming up at 6.30, some of the firefighters who have been volunteering their time to make this project a reality are going to be speaking with us, and that's coming up at 6.30. Live from Freeman High School, I'm Caroline Flynn, KXY4 News.